How's it going traders? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about how I withdrew over $13,500 in just one single day trading a prop firm challenge. I was able to pass phase one and phase two and get funded within the same day making this withdrawal. I have to wait seven days. This prop firm is a weekly payout. However, it was all achieved through my free Telegram group. I called it on their gold buys. We called it and then we closed out quick 40, 50 pip trades but due to high lot sizes i was able to make a quick return of just over six and a half percent on it i was able to make a quick return on just a short trade this is how it isn't always what it looks like getting funded can be very difficult at times not only that but not everything is what it seems this wasn't just my first attempt in trying to get funded in the same day and get a withdrawal. It's taken me about six challenges bought, so I've made my money back plus a bit of profit. If you want to call it risk to reward, then we can call it that. I was able to spend uh, on average around four to five thousand dollars buying challenges using high lot sizes to try and pass as soon as possible. Phase one was 10%, phase two was 5%. Not as good as the Forex from the bot, it will do. A 250k account was around 970 dollars so you can do the maths and see how much it actually cost me on about five or six challenges 950 dollars when i made the 13 and a half k i stopped trading i knew i had to make back some of the losses that i've taken within the last few weeks on this specific prop firm i knew that in order to succeed this sort of challenge that i wanted to upload and share with you guys and tell you all of the information it did take a while like I said, two weeks on average. I wasn't buying them every day, but whenever I had a setup, I had to buy in. Be mindful though, it wasn't just buying in and hoping the trade come in. I'm using 40 and 50 lot sizes. You can get on average around 20, 30 pip a sell, and then you blow the account. A lot of the time, a trade might go into drawdown, and with these high lot sizes, there could be some manipulation due to this broker having their own server. So if a prop firm has their own server, they can manipulate their spreads, they can wind in the spreads, and I've had a few in instance i'm not going to name the prop firm because I, I just don't want to but this prop firm were closing my trades out before sl even touch so for example because i can remember off the top of my head 1931 80 it closed me out for my sl was at 1932 and on the markets on the chart it only come down to 1932 30 so even with a buy which is showing a chart is showing the buying price not the selling price obviously you can change it on the metatrader app which is what i do as well and i I was screen recording this too let me know in the comments if you want me to expose this prop firm but they closed out my trade and they did this actually on my funded account too which means i had to buy another challenge but they closed out my trade at 1931.80 which is impossible as the market never even come down to that price by four pips now four pips with a 50.0 lot size is massive that's over two and a half k now on a 250k account that's one percent in just four or five pips now the challenge that i set myself was very 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 difficult i'm not going to sit here and say it's easy we don't need to fool anyone passing challenges aren't actually hard but then making the money on the funded account can be quite challenging the emotional side to it you somehow you can make on a 200k account 20k like that and you can get funded on the phase two five percent like that that's thirty thousand. you can do that in one day i was doing that within hours i was getting funded within two hours having an actual funded account but the downfall of that is that you will be using two high lots and you're going to end up blowing the account it is difficult to trade that funded account. As I just said, I made $30,000 in two hours. Then I get the funded account. I, I'm in gold buys on the free Telegram group. Boom, that happened to me with that mistake. So I ended up losing the account overall, but I did manage to get the withdrawal, which was very, very nice of 13 and a half K. With this being said, the funded account, I wasn't able to get back. It's been about three weeks on their live support and they keep just changing certain things of the way that they actually speak to me. Maybe I'll show it on the screen screen here but just so to get clarification they were just delaying the process of giving me back my funded account showing me proof that the markets were actually showing this price and it closed out for this price but how can it close out with no slippage no news normally slippage only happens with news so that was that i ended up losing the funded account overall but we did manage to make 13 and a half k and 
I'm still waiting to hear back and I did say to them I would make a video on it if they failed to give me some reasonable contribution, some reasonable, just some compensation because like you can't be closing people's trades out below the chart even says. And then on top of that, close the trade out for slippage of the SL. That is completely broken man manipulation and that can only happen with the own server. So the Forex founder above, they use Think Markets. They are they don't control how the markets move. They, the, the prop firm can't physically do that. Yet this prop firm did. And it, it is disgusting to see. And I have the screen recordings. I have all of the video proof. And if you want me to expose them, I will happily do that. But I, I don't want to mess up other people's prop firms that they have going on. Just another thing I want. Prop firms are a game changer, especially for initial investment. But there are risks to these prop firms. Some prop firms have hidden rules, like equity hidden rules. The Forex one that doesn't have that, but some prop firms do. Some prop firms have it where if you make profit and then the next day ticks over, you lose 3% of your 5% profit as an example, or then you've only got 2% to play around with or you blow the whole account where they use equity profit as a drawdown. So say if you're up 5% and you've got a trade minus 4.5%, you close it, you then lose another 5%. Even though you've made that profit in the same day, you're gonna lose the account. The analysis I used to make this withdrawal was just a straightforward market direction, pullback, get the buys. You got a lower high and you got the high of the lower high. The lower high you're using as, as a wick out liquidity grab and then the high on top of that lower high you're using as a place in the market where it's going to reflect bounce off impulse into the upside or downside depending on where you are in the market and then you get in on the trade. It's like a break and retest, but sometimes the trade doesn't break out straight away. It'll go up, come back down, and then you get the pullbacks and then you buy in or sell, depending if it's a bullish or bearish market. Bullish is up, bearish is down. I'm gonna continue making these withdrawals videos. It is easy to get funded, but obviously initial investment wise, I have big pockets, so I'm able to buy multiple challenges if my strategy doesn't work. Sometimes my trades might not come in, they might hit a sell and then I lose the challenge. So risk to reward, you've gotta be patient. You've gotta make sure that you have big pockets number one but number two i just advise people to trade smartly on prop firms i do do that also however this video was a challenge i want to see if i can get funded in one day and make a withdrawal which i succeedingly did which is a crazy thing to succeed with 13 and a half k i made about six to eight k profit here or there give or take fees and stuff like that a great challenge a great reward at the end we've withdrew over nearly 100 plus k within this month alone in july and i'm only just getting started i've got a bunch of prop firms that I've bought challenges for and I've got funded already and I'm going to release that all to you guys so make sure to subscribe to the content like the video if you are enjoying the content as well a massive upgrade on the camera quality and everything like that so hopefully we're going to continue to push out these content we're going to hopefully continue to push out the videos for you all make sure to check out my shorts I upload one every single day on this channel do not give up on your boy TJ because he's not going to give up on this um, awesome community that everyone has appreciated me for thank you for watching it's been your boy TJ and I'll catch you on the next one. Sorry for the rant. I'm looking out for you guys because I'm experiencing firsthand and when I expose all these people, they are going to lose their prop firms. Coming soon.